Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akabane101, and welcome back to some more Death Stranding. That's right, the series isn't dead, secretly. <laughs> I've just been extremely busy with work, but we're back. Uh, hopefully for more than one episode. Uh, but regardless, though, we have some mail to read. We actually got a couple more bits of mail when I loaded up the save. And uh, we'll read those in a moment. And we also have the one from William J., which is the test order Half-Life. Find my lost cargo, please. Uh, and honestly, I haven't really played too much Half-Life. I've played through the majority of Half-Life 2 in, like, maybe the intro scene of, like, Half-Life 1. But, you know, I think we're getting a head crab. I think that's what we're going to get for, like, our unlock here. Uh, I don't know where this piece is in Death Stranding. Hopefully, it will be easy to spot. If not, of course, we have the ability to just use the power of the internet to find it. But, regardless. Hey, Sam. The Great Deliverer, right? Benjamin told me all about you. Told me how much you like Half-Life. To be honest, though, I'm not sure I understand what it is you do. So, why don't you show me? Prove to me you're a real badass. I've lost something very precious. As precious as life itself. Akin to what you'd call a ha, even. Now, you know who Peter Englert is, don't you? The guy who keeps asking you to bring him pizza? Seems my cargo somewhere near his shelter. It's got a pretty distinct cube shape, so you should recognize it straight away. Once you find it, bring it to Lake Knot City. Please. I'll make it worth your while, of course. Why you or anyone else would choose to make a living uh, traipsing around with cargo strapped to your back is a mystery to me. But I'm sure glad you're doing it. All right. Luckily, we actually have to go to Peter Englart, so that's good for me. Considering we do have a pizza mission for him, and you don't want to miss those; those are timed, uh, and you want to make sure you get them. Otherwise, he gets upset and sends you a secondary email of you failing to send him pizza on time, and he becomes very offended. Don't do it. Gotta make him your best bud. Very difficult to make Peter Engler like you. As you'll see, he's uh, one star with us, and I think it stays that way forever. <laughs> Even if you do all those missions. Uh, all right, the craftsman. Porter's getting it done. Hey, Sam, did you hear? One of the porters I hooked up with hematic grenades took down a BT the other day. There was a sharp drop in chiralium density that coincided with his report, so there's no denying he got the son of a bitch. And it's all thanks to you and the UCA. It's an exchange joining up. We sacrifice a little privacy, share a little expertise, and you agree to look out for us. Not a huge price to pay, but it's enough to help the cause. A tax, if we're being honest. We pay, we get protection. Contracts alone won't cut it. We're just free riders, that way. Not giving up enough, not getting enough. And if you dodge your taxes, you can't be surprised when there's nobody around to look out for you. Quid pro quo, and all that. The info and tech I've received from Bridges just might be enough for me to start producing hematic grenades in bulk. If so, then who knows? Maybe we can wipe out the current crop of BTs. Of course, there's a catch. Only your blood seems to work. Don't misunderstand. I'm not going to ask you to bleed yourself dry. To be honest, I'm surprised we got as much from you as we did. It's like you're donating a pint every time you take a break. Well, it can't be easy, but we sure are grateful. And don't you forget it. It would be interesting if there was like a bit of a, uh, a trade-off. Like you can donate some of your blood, but you'll have to regenerate it when you go back into the field. It just seems that we regenerate it as we sleep. And he's right. As we take a break, we do donate like a pint of blood. Uh, less than that, really. Because I'm pretty sure a pint's not 500 mils. Because I think that's what you donate in blood bags. But yeah, I don't know. It, it's a cool mechanic. I just wish they kind of expanded on it more. Like maybe choose to give your blood and potentially lower the chiralium in the area or lower BT count in the area that you donate blood at. And then you have less blood. So if you're dealing with mules or terrorists later on, um, you're going to be more at risk of getting knocked out or even killed. Uh, so I don't know. I think that would be a, an interesting trade-off, especially on very hard mode. I mean, they could probably add more of these things in as you play on harder difficulties to give you a little bit more of a reward for choosing to donate your blood. And the, the day, at least the craftsman is here to help make some cool bits of tech. And the musician from the first island. Yo, Sam. Thanks for dropping by, man. Gotta say, I wasn't expecting visitors. But hey, it was good to see somebody. Anyways, 
I decided to join the UCA just to see what the deal is. I mean, I'd heard the rumors, but I was always a bit skeptical. I didn't think countries or borders or whatever had anything to do with music. I was way off, though. The Kylo Network's incredible. A guy can get all the music he could ever need. There's some seriously good shit on here, too, man. It's all pretty old, though. As far as I can see, nobody's written anything new in forever. Nobody except me, that is. Y'all might be happy putting the classics on repeat, but that's not how I roll, man. Ain't a life worth living without new sounds, you feel me? There you go. <laughs> I love that guy. Uh, Alright, do we have anything else? It's just a bunch of tips. Alright, we'll just scroll through this. Get rid of those. Can I just... Yeah, I don't think I can actually skip ahead, though. Yeah. Because I think I have to actually go over them to get rid of the exclamation mark. And then it just clears all this crap out. There's so much, like, guides and tips in this game. It's unreal. All right, there you go. All data sorted out. Feeling good. I think we're ready to head on out. And I can only imagine certain roads must be finished by now. Although we haven't really unlocked too many new areas in the last uh, go-ahead in our play session. So... Uh, hopefully just the roads that we've been working on have been finished. Essentially how the road system works, I think I've explained this before, but just in case you missed it. Uh, essentially... Oh, you know what? I will tell you after this. Because we gotta hook into our dreams. With BB. Keep us safe. <sighs> Man like you. Gun, like a bar fight of some sort, blaming himself for what happened to his wife. Begin scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Oh, right. I forgot we had our vehicle over here. I'm like, where'd that come from? Alright, cool. Road you rebuilt was used by someone else. We're starting to stack likes, but not a lot, considering there wasn't really much that happened between. Uh, our last session in this one, I guess. Uh, but yeah, no, essentially the way that the road building works is essentially you either start filling a node and then it gets auto-completed by other players, or rather, uh, the, the server will carry other people's items over into your server. That's more like it. Um, and then it'll auto-complete. Or, if you don't touch it in time, uh, let's say it's at zero, 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 uh, the game will just throw a bunch of stuff in it. So, like, this first paver, paver, uh, 23-1, as you can see... It still needs a few more materials, uh, so other people will essentially, uh, or other people have already put stuff into this, and then I can go finish it, or something like that. Something along those lines, but yeah, most, mostly though, like, this road is pretty solid. Looks like it got a little further extensions here, all the way up into the Craftsman, so it's a very, very safe route. And then Engineer has an exclamation mark above his head. I think he needs something. Cargo for Sam present. I see, so I can pick something up from here. 
uh, since another player has left something off, and I can go and pick it up. Cool stuff, bro. I've got to make sure that we don't have anything under orders at the moment. Good. Our orders are clean, so we have nothing to worry about other than making some deliveries, which Peter Englart seems like a perfect example of our first delivery. We'll also summon a brand new vehicle here. Uh, we'll do the reverse trike. We'll make this one, please, and thank you. And I believe later, but not now, we can actually make... We'll confirm this. Uh, or we'll have the ability to actually color and customize the vehicle, but let me check if we can do this now. So if we store the vehicle, can we change the color? I think you have to wait until like a little bit further in the game to do this. We can bring it right back out. It's no like downside of doing this. Uh, and the reason you want to put your bikes away is to repair them. Uh, okay, so let's go to the garage. The garage. Okay. Yep, okay. So at the moment, I don't think we have... Yeah, there you go. Change current vehicle, customize vehicles, etc. We don't have the ability to actually customize it, or I'm missing a button here or something like that. I think it was like triangle or something, but I think you need to unlock it. That's how spoiled I am when I when I beat the game. It was so nice to be able to color your vehicles. Uh, so the cool thing is, like, these vehicles will now show up in other people's worlds. It'll just make a clone of it, so you'll never lose your own vehicle or whatever, but... Uh, essentially, it's nice to know that other people can benefit from your creations, and vehicles are generally one of the nicest things to just, like, you know, grab someone else's bike, or someone grabs your bike, or something like that. And you never have to worry that, you know, they're going to be left without, because they'll still keep their own. Okay, so, orders for Sam. We got urgent fresh pizza delivery. Peter Englart. Obviously the most important thing of all time. The cargo is fragile, and you must keep it flat. This is the only mission in the game that requires you to keep flat. Uh, it's basically a joke mission, if anything, really. Uh, and then delivery to remote area. Watching your footing, the cargo needs to be delivered to a remote and inhospitable era area. Uh, the area from Lake Knot to Peter Engler is actually not too bad. It's when you start having to go from across the entire map to get him a goddamn pizza. Get well pizza. A freshly baked get well pizza topped with ham. The container must be kept flat or the pizza will be spoiled. So thankfully there is a way to do this um, by stacking our backpack to the point of where you have to put items on top of the backpack and then those items are flat. Um, I don't think we've really seen too much of that in this playthrough, considering I've been very good about not bringing too much. Uh, I'm usually very sparing in how I, uh, make my creations. Uh, so we'll probably grab some metals and things that we can just slap on our back real quick. And yeah, we'll grab our reverse strike, of course. And of course, this, uh, reverse strike make is not sure a long distance one. properly at all times. If you do something stupid, like turn it on its side, you'll ruin it. Right, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So, you don't want it to be on its side. Um, but we're going to have to do that, I think, for a moment. Possibly. Yeah, because we carry this on our back. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Hmm. These are all on our back. These are attached to our suit. We don't want that. Carry this on our back. Carry this on our back. And then... Through some trickery. We'll put this on the ground. Grab the one off our tool rack, put that on our back. Not that this one should matter. And then the one on our back can be the pizza. There we go. And as you can see, that is quote unquote as flat as you can get. Even though obviously you'll see him leaning forward a bit. And you know, the pizza would be sliding everywhere. Let's be honest. Like it's not like we have a vehicle. Well, actually, we could put it in the back of the truck. And deliver it like we're a pizza delivery boy. But hey, whatever, man. Video games, am I right? Okay, this this mission is essentially a joke. <laughs> the whole point of it is ridiculous. Uh, but I still love it. Order assigned. Delivery so we got 30 minutes. We got PCCs and everything, too. So hopefully we'll have enough juice on our bike. We should be able to make a right turn here. Uh. I lied horribly. Yeah, we actually need to be able to get out. But the the shielding in the area is actually blocking us from being able to do so. Oh, 
always thought there was a way to like get out of the zone, but I guess not. All right, that's fine. Have a pleasant journey. There we go. That's what it was. Okay, it's been a while. Weapons restrictions lifted. So the area that we're trying to get to, we haven't been to before. And as far as I understand it, there's not going to be any footprints. And once we get to a certain threshold, we will have uh, no access to the Cairo network, which means no player buildings to assist us. Thankfully, though, right on the edge, there is a player building there right across the river. And this little footpath here seems all right to me. Want to pray this is enough? Oh, baby. Okay, we're good. Very difficult to speed along here when it's uh, still rocky terrain. Of course, someone decided to put a ladder there, which is, would have been good in other circumstances, but in our circumstance, it's actually blocking our vehicle. At least now we have some grass to go on. And there it is. That was not too bad. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. We actually have a lost cargo for Lake Nut too. Oh, that's a companion cube. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Alright. Less than three minutes. Pizza should still be nice and hot and delightful. Here you go. Enjoy your delicious pizza, my friend. Delivering cargo. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Doesn't even come to greet me. What a monster. Who does this? I better get a damn good tip for this, though. 0% damage. Two minutes instead of 30. We kept it nice and flat. And we went straight for him. Well, as straight as you can go, anyway. That's pretty good, honestly. I didn't even have it waypointed. I just remembered where it was. <laughs> too good, too good. All right, and uh, I got the achievement, world's most popular porter. Nice. That's what I like to be. All right, 67 bridge link in our poor delivery time. That's the longest one to level, I find, because you have to specifically do time trial missions, which is few and far between. Thank you for your continued support. Good one. Got it. And he doesn't have anything for me. I think we have a private locker we can access, but yeah, again, this is not even remotely uh, set up to the Cairo network, and it won't be until endgame. So, just embrace the fact that you have to deliver shitty pizzas to this guy <laughs> and get the best emails in the game. Emails alone are worth it for sure. Okay, so let's open our cargo menu, and we'll put some of our luggage on here. I always love to load things onto the bike. Uh, unfortunately, the things I need are going to be on my backpack. These are all tools of the trade, you know? Uh, so, at the end of the day, whatever. Downside to the bullet gun, man, is that if it starts raining, that thing just starts breaking. It's just the way of life. Whoops. Okay, so let's see if we can use that trail that we made. It should be easier getting back than it was going forward. Nice. Hopefully we don't break this companion cube. All right, we got our email as well. We'll go read that when we head back. It's still gonna be a bumpy road just because the terrain itself is bumpy, but the lack of rocks makes us so much faster that we're able to now actually speed run all the way back. If you want to call it that anyway. <laughs> I love this mechanic. I wish this mechanic was in more games where the, the, the path, the arduous path is made easier based on uh, where you have traveled and where your friends and, or well, maybe not friends, but your companions, your other porters, your other Sam Porter bridges were traveling as well. Just some random am angry emote. I don't know what he's angry about, but okay. I think I just 
gave like 10 people likes on the way back. Alrighty, uh, so because it's on our vehicle, we should just be able to drop this off. Make our little delivery here. There it is. And let's get our reward. Hell yeah. I'm glad how easy this one was in comparison to the uh, the first one. Hey, how's it going? Guys like you make me proud to be part of Bridges. Thank you, Sam. No problemo, friendo. Oh, by the way, I've prepped a little something for you. Feel free to grab it whenever. Oh, okay. All right. I forgot about this stupid thing. He has given you a valve. Until the next delivery, then. Stay safe. Dear Lord. All right. Good work. New order available. Please access so, delivery terminal for further information. Instead of this thing, instead of the little uh, ponytail thing on our back, we got, on the back of our head rather, we can get this stupid, <laughs> uh, whatever it's called, valve. A valve that's attached to the back of the head. Opening one of these valves is said to release a powerful jet of steam, but that can't be done with this version since it's for decorative purposes only. Popular and much loved all over the world. Yeah, I knew it! It replaces the little bun on the back of your head. Now, wait a minute. Can we combine? Can we also put... Oh, uh, okay. So your hair does go down. Oh, yeah, hold on. I'm wearing the wrong glasses here. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but whenever you are wearing the glasses, he puts his hair down. But when you take off the glasses, he puts his hair up. Can you wear, can you wear a hat? You cannot wear the hat with it. Okay. So this is... In all intents and purposes, a hat. All right, perfect. Thanks, Valve. <laughs> Gotta celebrate. Hey, at least it does more than most games that celebrate coming to Steam. Uh, all right, let's go into the private room and read our emails. Delightful. Not that it was a big trip or anything like that, but I do like to get the emails out of the way and just make sure we're good to go. Is it 500 mils? I wasn't paying attention. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. It just says blood bank has been put in your private locker. Okay. Wow, we got a bunch of emails all of a sudden. Hey, look! They put the steam valve on the table as well. Very nice. Wait, okay, wait, hold on. No, but he just puts it on. Oh, and his hair's down, right? Okay. Perfect. Our quest to become... What's-his-face Gordon from Half-Life is, uh, is currently succeeding. Soon we'll have the Half-Life Alex gloves and the head crab. Don't shake your head at me, Norman. You don't understand. You don't understand my need for collection and data. We got another tip? I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> just, there's too many. All right, Peter Englart, my favorite. A heartfelt expression of gratitude. My dear Mr. Bridges, I must applaud you on a job exquisitely executed. I am given to understand that the pizza in question arrived in impeccable condition. Marvelous! Alas, I must also apologize on behalf of my sister. She was asleep when you arrived, you see. As for myself, I was out and about attending to private matters that demanded my utmost attention. But I am on my way home as I write. I would have very much preferred to thank you face to face, but on this occasion, you will have to forgive me. 
Don't worry, Peter. I'm sure you are a wonderful, nice man. Psych! William L., you're amazing, Half-Life. Thanks so much, Sam. The stories I'd heard didn't do you justice. Benjamin's still singing your praises, too, once again. Excellent work. Say, I don't suppose you're a fan of Portal as well, are you? I'd like to give you a valve by way of thanks. I'd also like to share with you a story. You know that one huge explosion that happened years and years ago? Well, rumor has it that the lake formed by it, Ground Zero, has another kind of valve at the bottom of it. I also heard that the monsters called BTs are aliens that hail from another world, one that was linked to this one by way of that explosion. Well, that's the story anyway, so make sure you keep that valve closed tight, Sam, or the aliens will come and get you. Is he just referring to the beginning of Half-Life 1 <laughs> when they accidentally opened up the portal? Uh, it was my first day on the job and the whole thing goes to shit. I love it. By the way, no, BTs are not aliens. That's just a reference to Half-Life. In case anyone's confused, don't worry. That's BTs are not aliens. They get explained more later as it goes on. The Craftsman. You beat the mules without killing anyone? Dear Sam, the local mule chapter hasn't been causing any trouble of late, and I guess that must be down to the lesson you taught them. Look, I know those guys are just victims, really, what with their obsessive compulsions or whatever, but the fact is they, they make life difficult. Someone had to confront them, and that's just what you did. Hats off to you, Sam. How about my tool, by the way? Did it come in handy? I guess it must have done, if you managed to get out of there without killing anyone. Hey man, I can punch them all down. It's no problem, dude. I'm an absolute beast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I know it was basically just one delivery and a bunch of email reading, but hey, that is Death Stranding in a nutshell. Absolutely, Norman. Absolutely. Huh. Indeed. Yeah, show those show those muscles. All right, I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy. I'm back with me. I want to walk. Goodbye. I love you guys. Thanks for watching.